Hi, welcome to sixth grade science. Yes, this I am Mrs. Garcia and this is Mrs. Williams and we're going to split our presentation to uh, let you know about sixth grade science. We're so happy you're here. So uh, our names, our room numbers, and our conference period, 950 to 1035. This might be an important thing in case you need to contact us or have a meeting. Um, this year, we just wanted to let you know a little bit about what the students are going to learn. We're going to be um, having a mix of different kinds of science, but particularly earth science, some physical, and a little bit of life science. Okay, so ways to communicate that we communicate with you. We actually send out a letter every uh, Friday, and it's called This Week in Science. It has the dates for the following week. And honestly, we've already done two, so you should, uh, and today we'll do another, so you should be getting it. And if you're not, maybe your email address is wrong in the counselor's office. They're the ones that input that. So make sure it is correct if you're not getting those. Okay. Um, supplies, students just have like regular supplies that they should bring in their backpack. And then, of course, their interactive student notebook, which is the composition book this year. Um, and we do suggest that you buy one for second semester as well. Also, they can use a spiral if you don't have the composition. Okay, um, the ways that we uh, look for behavior in our, in our school is by using a positive approach. And so we want to let you know that we're using this PBIS. We reward students with points. Uh, we do have interventions if they are not meeting the expectations. And um, this system is flexible, as you can see. And um, we do uh, work with individual uh, situations as needed. Okay. If the student is absent, they are required to make up the work that they missed, but they have two school days to make up their, their one absence. So if they're absent for two days, they get four days. Okay, but um, they are responsible to do it, so uh, just know that. I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Williams to finish up the presentation. Okay, uh, and once Ms. Garcia is six feet away, I can lose the mask, and uh, you can actually see my face. Um, tutorials. Um, it's difficult because we have some kids online, some kids in, but we generally have tutorials every morning before school. The, the doors open at 8.30, so we can basically tutor from 8.30 to 8.50. Um, we have, uh, might be able to do some during advisory. That's something we're working on because we have two different advisories for sixth grade, but my students can go to Ms. Garcia and her students can come to me. We're always doing the same things at the same time. So even if your child gets a schedule change and ends up with the other teacher, they're exactly where they need to be. There won't be any interruptions or hiccups or, or mixed, missed material because of that. Um, I already talked about advisory. Normally when they're sitting in our room for their 25 minutes of advisory, we expect them to maybe read a little bit. Um, they might be getting tutoring help from us. They could be studying or should be working on homework. And every Monday we'll have our character strong lessons. But this is a time for work. It is not a time for goofing off or taking a nap. Uh, the grading scale for science is the same for both academic and pre-AP. The homework grades count for 15%. Uh, minor grades, which are labs and quizzes, count as 40%. And tests are 45%. So that's consistent throughout um, in sixth grade. Um, the retest policy in our school is if a child scores below a 70, they have an opportunity to bring that grade up to a 70. It is pretty much up to each individual teacher whether how to handle that, whether it's a retest or test corrections or some other work to show that they've actually learned the material. So the students will just have to um, be checking with their teachers. For our test this week, we do have a test correction form embedded um, in Canvas that they should be uh, filling out. It is a homework grade to turn in their test corrections. Um, and we talk to them about that in class. We'll, but we'll let them know what they need to do. 
And that's basically it. Um, there's, we could go on and on and on, but we don't want to keep you forever. Um, but just know that we can do this. Um, sixth grade is a big transition year, and we will do everything we can to make it as smooth and um, comfortable as possible for your students and help them step up to this higher level of learning where they have to be a little more responsible and uh, definitely um, proactive for themselves. So let's help them learn to be independent, to ask for the help they need, and to be successful. Thank you, and have a good evening.